Welcome back to my channel guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my hat collection. I got a request to show you guys what hats I have since I showed you guys my lack of color hat. Um, I don't have a lot of hats, but I have like a nice little handful. So I am not going to show you the lack of color because I have a whole video on that and I will link that somewhere around here for you guys to take a look at. But I'm just gonna get started a lot of these hats are kind of old but i feel like i keep seeing them being uh reissued or revamped or whatever and coming back so i'm gonna start with the first hat and this hat is kind of old it's by yes tat y-e-s-t-a-d-t and it has like a really hard brim, almost like the lack of color hat. Now, I like this hat because you can wear it with like um, graphic tees and stuff like that. Again, guys, I would not wear this with a bang or my bangs would be out of my face. The only issue with this hat is that it is this piece here, this little detailing kind of hard and if you have a larger head or even if you are wearing a unit you might have trouble so with something like this you can wear it going backwards you know a lot of the girls wear the hat towards the back of the head with maybe like a jacket that you ladies are wearing now maybe like a plaid jacket or whatever so this is the first hat um, I do like the detailing on this hat. My only issue is this piece here that's extremely hard. Well, I can get it on, but it kind of hurts my head because it's so fitted, it doesn't stretch. So something like this, you wouldn't necessarily need a hat filler. Um, and like I said, this is kind of old, but I can find something out here like this for you guys. It is 100% wool. I try my best to get 100% wool. If not, the hat's not really gonna last me and I'll show you. So that's hat number one, this one here. Actually, you guys could actually see the little detailing on it, like the lack of color. It's just a harder brim. Um, so that's hat number one. Hat number two is one of the hats where it's not 100% wool. And I know this because I know I didn't pay a lot for this one. This, oh, I didn't cut the tag out, guys. I'm sure it's like a 50-50 blend or something like that. But this is more of a cheaper version of the other hats that I'm gonna show you. But I bought it because I did like the color. The color was very cute. And it's just something that, you know, you would just wear just out you know, maybe going shopping. It's just, it's, I, I don't like hats like this that do not have the, um, the extra piece at the rim, the brim of the hat, um, depending on the quality of the hat. So this is more of a cheaper one. This probably was like $20 maybe, maybe $20 guys, but I like the color. I had some boots that were this color, so I got this hat. So that's hat number two. Um, I like the color, like I said, I would recommend getting a hat that has more of a structured brim. Um, it is a shorter one too. This detailing is actually cute, but as you guys can see, it's very floppy, but it's not as wide as some of the other hats that I'm going to show you. And if you are going to go for a cheaper brand, then I would say, make sure that your brim is wider like this one i think i overpaid for this one however um this is a hundred percent wool um the hat is a hundred percent wool you guys have to be careful because sometimes they'll put like a wool blend you want to get a hundred percent wool so it can last you um it just may cost you a little bit more so this one doesn't have that hard piece at the brim of the hat however it's bigger, as you can see. It's bigger than the, the, the last hat that I just showed. Um, so something like this you can wear with 
pretty I'm sorry guys I'm looking into the mirror to make sure that it's not crooked <laughs> um but something like this I would wear with probably a button-up shirt maybe a long white button-up shirt dress and some boots keep it really simple I'm tall so it's very hard for me to really find longer button-up shirts um when I do, I do buy multiple shirts, guys. That is the key to shopping as a tall lady. And I'm gonna say this a million times. If you find shoes or jackets or jeans, buy more than one because it's very hard for us to like really find things that fit us properly. And you know, when they're sold out, they probably won't get any more. So this is hat number three. And this hat is from Saks. I think I did a full review on this hat. Um, like I said, I think I overpaid for it in my opinion. Um, that's just my opinion. So that's hat number three. Hat number four is an older hat. This hat is by Aqua. It is 100% wool and it was made in Italy. This is one of my favorite hats. It doesn't have that indentation like the other hat does. Um, Cause this is more of a fedora style, the shape. And this is not, I'm not even sure what the shape of this hat is, but this hat is so cute. Cause it's very feminine. Like you could wear this with some brown boots. You could, again, you could wear this with a white button up and some jeans. If you wanted to keep it really simple for the day. Um, this hat has a larger brim also, but it doesn't have that extra piece. But I like this one because the top of it is more rounded out, if you guys can see. And I do like the brown detailing on it. Um, this can go with pretty much anything. So it's like a tan creamish color. Not super light like my lack of color hat, but it's still in the same family. But this is something that I would just wear just out and about, guys out and about and I love it let me know what you guys think about this one and if you I mean when you are buying hats just pay attention to this top piece um something like this let's see it's probably a one size fit all yeah I would definitely put this in the cleaners and see if they can dry clean this just so you don't have any issues with your hat because it, like I said it is wool but I don't think you would need a hat filler if you did, you do have the space inside to put the hat filler in if you have a smaller head. Now, if you have a larger head, you might be out of luck, <laughs> but I think you should be okay. Um, I think that's number four. Number five, and this is not all of my hats. This is just some of them that um, I think you guys would like. The other ones are like summer hats and stuff. Um, this is actually the same brand as the first black one with the tight rim, well, the tight piece here, detailing, same brand. It's just, it's in gray. And again, this is a hundred percent wool. I will recommend you guys getting that so it could last you. You don't want to have to keep buying hats over and over and over because you're buying a cheaper hat. But if you want to buy a color maybe you can because it may the color may go in and out of style but when it comes to like grays and blacks and uh grays blacks and tan colors and browns maybe stick with what stick with 100 percent wool um so looking at this hat i'm just now looking at it and it has this little little cricket but i think that's how the hat is made <laughs> because of where the bow is at and you're probably supposed to wear it on the side so again you can see this little detailing right here I don't know this is where this is oh no maybe that was just me guys I didn't tuck it in properly um so like something like this again you can wear it like the first one this is not as tight as that first one it doesn't have that I don't even know what material that is around. It's like some sort of wire, but this one is a little bit better. Gray is very classy and can go with a lot. You can wear it with all black. You can wear blush and gray. You can wear gray and white and maybe a tad of yellow. Um, 
those are some colors that I would wear it with. And if you have some beautiful snakeskin boots or pumps with gray, not the tan color snakeskin, but more of the black and white and gray, um, this will go perfect with it. So this is hat number five. And my final hat, you see guys, my hair keeps getting messed up. My final hat would be this baby. This baby, this baby. So I showed you guys three black hats. Um, this hat is from BCBG. And I bought this some time ago. And let's see what it has here. It does have the place for the hat filler. It gives you some detail. It is one size fit all. Um, and they are calling it just a felt floppy. Now where is the... Oh, actually, look at here, guys. <laughs> I had this hat for such a long time. It actually comes with a hat filler, so this is great. I can probably use the same hat filler. I don't know if you guys can see like velcroed in inside which is great um the lack of color did not come with it they definitely charge you like five dollars for it but they could be nice and add it in for you <laughs> so this hat it doesn't even show i'm trying to make sure it's 100 percent wool and it's not so it's probably because it's from i don't know it's bcbg um but Here's this one. This one is a little bit more like va va boom because <laughs> it has some leather detailing at the top. Um, it does have that dipping, so this is more of a fedora style, more so than the tan color that had the rounded out top. But here's the last hat, guys. Just make sure that your hat is like you can fit it, fill your head. If it's if you can't, it's probably not far enough down on your head. Um, something like this, I, you would wear, I would wear like curly hair, maybe, um, a sleek outfit. Definitely. Maybe a trench coat or something with this, or like a nice tailored trench coat. Um, I know Mackage has a lot of, of uh, nice trench coats, um, and wool coats, but they, to me, they run kind of small. So another suggestion is going to suit supply and getting a wool coat custom made to fit your body especially if you are tall if not you can go there and get your measurements because i don't think all states have a woman's section if they don't go and get measured and then go from there and get your coat made i definitely think it's worth it that's on my little wish list that i'm gonna do i don't think it's expensive given the fact that i am tall so that's what i would do but here's the last hat guys and that's it. This is my little hat collection. Like I said, I'll do a summer one when summer hits because I do have summer hats. But since we're in fall and going into winter, I think these were appropriate for this video, guys. If you like videos like this, guys, please comment below any other videos you would like to see. And if you stay to the end of this video, please hit that subscribe button and comment. Coco, we see you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.